This month, we've been talking all about how we can care for the people on our block by showing some compassion. Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. Jesus once said this to his friends, Here is my command, love one another just as I have loved you. We can care for each other because we've experienced God's compassion for ourselves. God showed us the ultimate example of compassion by sending Jesus to be our Savior. Let's stand up and sing out about how we'll love one another with the same love that God has shown us. Jesus is helping me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I believe His light can shine through me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I want to be. Jesus had a lot of things to do when he was here on earth. 
Of course there were the big things like being born in Bethlehem and rising from the dead. But between those two big things, there were also a lot of other important things that Jesus had come to do. Jesus spent time with people of every kind, from every background. Jesus taught people, he answered challenges from religious leaders, and he explained the most important thing we can do, love God and love others. Jesus welcomed people and made them feel valuable, including little kids. As you can see, Jesus' focus was always on others and how he could help them. That was certainly true about today's story, which took place as Jesus made his last journey to Jerusalem. Jesus knew what was coming. He knew that he was about to die on the cross for the sins of the world and then come back to life. But Jesus still took time for the people he met along the way. Jesus and his disciples had come to the city of Jericho. A large crowd was traveling with them. Up ahead was a man named Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus couldn't see. There was no work he could do to earn money, so he depended on the kindness of strangers passing by. He sat by the side of the road begging for money. Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was coming. Jesus was famous by then, so Bartimaeus would have heard stories about him. Bartimaeus would have heard about people who had been healed by Jesus. Bartimaeus knew he couldn't let this chance slip away. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many people told Bartimaeus to stop, be quiet, but he just shouted louder. He called out, son of David, have mercy on me. Through all the noise, Jesus heard Bartimaeus' cries for help. It would have been easy for him to just keep walking and push on towards Jerusalem. But instead, Jesus stopped. He told the people to call for Bartimaeus. The people went to Bartimaeus and said, Cheer up, get on your feet. Jesus is calling for you. And that's exactly what Bartimaeus did. He threw his coat to the side, stood up, and made his way through the crowd to Jesus. Jesus asked Bartimaeus, What do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus told Jesus that he simply wanted to see. Go, Jesus said, your faith has healed you. Suddenly, Bartimaeus could see. Jesus had healed him. It was a miracle! And Bartimaeus didn't waste any time. He joined the crowd and followed Jesus along the road. What Jesus did that day was truly incredible. I mean, Jesus was very busy. He had plenty of other things he could have been doing. He was surrounded by crowds of people, and he was on his way to Jerusalem to fulfill his ultimate mission and save the world. But in the middle of all that, Jesus took the time to heal one man. He saw what Bartimaeus needed, and he took the time to help. He took the time to show compassion and love. That is our mission here too, in our neighborhoods, in our classes at school, and at home with our family. We can live a life of compassion, just like Jesus did. We can choose to see what others need and care enough to do something about it. We can make time to help others. I don't know about you, but I want to help people the way Jesus did. I want to make time for people the way Jesus did, like he did for Bartimaeus. After all, there are a lot of people on our block who need help. So let's do this. Make time to help others. Say that with me. Make time to help others. I know it's not always easy to make time. Our days can get pretty busy. Let's look at your day, for example. You have to get ready for school in the morning. You have to ride the bus or carpool or maybe walk to school. You have to go to class and eat lunch. After school, you have homework, chores, maybe practicing sports or an instrument. And don't forget some fun time just for you, whether that's TV or games or reading. And then you've got to get ready for bed. This is a lot, isn't it? 
So how can we help others when we're so busy all the time? Well, sometimes it might mean giving up on what you want to do so you can help someone else. Maybe you get up early enough that you can help your little brother tie his shoes before you run out the door to the school bus. Or maybe during lunch, you walk a little past the table with all of your friends and you take some time to talk to the new kid. Maybe sometimes you turn off the TV or video game and choose instead to play a board game with your sister. I bet that would make her feel special, right? When you make choices like that, you can show love and compassion to the people God has put in your life. You can treat others the way you want to be treated with the way you use your time. Make time to help others. Say that one more time. Make time to help others. Let's head to small group and talk some more about how we can do that. Cause it all comes-